Hi guys, how to use kettlebells for endurance? I'm Tarko Fleur, a certified kettlebell coach and owner of Kiteman Training. I'm going to talk to you about how to use kettlebells for endurance. When it comes to endurance, there is muscular and cardiovascular endurance, and there's also mental endurance. For cardiovascular, it's good to alternate your kettlebell, so from one side to the other. This allows one side to slightly recover. For muscular endurance, it's good to stick to one side. So you're working more on muscular endurance. So if I would do 10 on the right and then 10 on the other, then I'm working more muscular endurance than when I'm alternating each rep. Okay, for example, when using the kettlebell swing, if I perform double arm swings, then my grip will get no break. So I'm working on muscular endurance right there on my grip. At some point, the grip will give in. If nothing else gives up before then, that is. And to overcome this with the swing, I would alternate each rep. So to avoid that uh, muscular fatigue for the grip, you alternate each rep. This is the least taxing on muscular endurance. Or I could do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other side. This works more towards muscular endurance because I'm doing more reps on one side and before I give it to the other side where I'm doing more reps again. I could do 30 seconds on one side and 30 seconds on the other side, which would be a good mix to work on muscular and cardiovascular endurance at the same time, as I would not burn out my grip and I would be able to keep going for longer. So the longer you can keep going, the more you're working on your cardiovascular endurance and your muscular endurance. There are many kettlebell exercises that you can do for endurance, but here are some awesome exercises that you can keep doing for a longer unbroken period of time. For example, the jerk, the snatch, the clean and jerk, alternating clean and press, and so on. The clean is a good exercise to break things up, and so is alternating. So clean, your weight and then perform an exercise, a jerk or a press or push press, etc. Alternating is going from one side to the other side. So you can alternate after each rep or you can alternate after two reps, etc. The easiest is alternating after each rep because it just gives that one part of the body a break up to a certain point, of course. I already covered a lot about cardiovascular endurance in another video. I highly recommend you check that out. The jerk, the snatch, the cleaning jerk, the alternating cleaning press and so on, I have also covered in other videos. So it wouldn't make sense to go into that again. Rather, I'm just going to point you to them. If you're on YouTube, you can click. If you're not on YouTube, then you can just type in the link that you see and you'll be taken to those videos. Check out those videos for more details on those exercises. Okay, for some awesome endurance workouts, I highly recommend 10 minute long cycle, which is clean and jerk. Now the long cycle can be uh, different things as well, but uh, commonly known as clean and jerk. You also get 10 minutes of snatch, super, super to do 10 minutes of snatch. It's very, very difficult to mentally. This is what I mentioned in the beginning, mental endurance. Now it's not just muscular, it's not just cardiovascular that can give up. Usually it is the mental endurance that gives up before those two. So it's a super important part to work on as well. It's a part where you go, I'm going to give up. Why am I doing this? No, I'm not giving up. I am doing this to get better. I'm going to do another rep. It's about pushing that negativity away every time. And just when you, your inner self says, no, I don't want to do anymore. You say, let's do another rep and another rep and so on. You learn how to talk to yourself. You learn how to push 
the negativity away. Eventually, it will become a lot longer before that negative voice comes back. So mental endurance is improved when that happens. So this is what caveman training is all about as well. It always has been. It has been about uh, longevity, mental toughness, strength, cardiovascular endurance, all the attributes combined into one. Now, another great endurance exercise and mental exercise is the pacemaker. Check out the pacemaker protocol. It's awesome. It's a protocol that we designed. You can follow that to become a superhuman, guaranteed. Check it out. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click like, share the videos everywhere, share it on Facebook, share it on Reddit, share it on any other social media platform that's out there. We always appreciate that. Uh, we really enjoy it when people share our videos. Now, also make sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got over a thousand videos, tips, workouts, uh, tutorials, uh, combos, and so much more. Make sure you click that button and check that uh, bell as well so that you get notifications. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I will always answer any questions. There are no stupid questions. Hope to see you in the next video. I've put together two free PDFs that you can download from our website. One is called Master Kettlebell Grips and the other Master Kettlebell Racking. I know what you're thinking. Grips and racking, I know all that. Guarantee that you will learn a lot from these two PDFs. It will lay the most important layer to build up on in kettlebell training. If you're lacking that layer, you will make so many mistakes and you won't enjoy your training. You will also get injured. It's a given. I have been doing this for over 15 years and I've seen it time and time again. Download these two PDFs. Guaranteed, it will teach you something new. Something that will help you improve your kettlebell training. If you're not familiar with grip transition, resting rack, crunch rack, rack for power transfer, or 25 plus grips, then you should download these PDFs. They're free. There's also an online kettlebell entry course priced very low. I think if it's still discounted, it's $4.95 instead of $9.95. It's there just to show uh, the quality of content and how something that simple can teach you a whole lot more. It's a simple but extremely important and valuable course that will help you tremendously. Check that out in our shop as well. Just go directly to our shop or type in your browser go.cavemantraining.com forward slash get started and on that page you'll have the links for the PDFs and optionally you can uh, start with that course for just less than five bucks. Just give it a go, guaranteed that a whole new world will open up to you in the kettlebell world. See you there.